Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Another brand new book. The title of this is The Song for Everyone. We all have a special song. Maybe we know it ourselves, or someone gives it to us. In this case, the song is a mysterious sound. Where is it coming from? Who's giving the sound? Let's solve that mystery. This book was written by Lucy Morris and published by Bloomsbury Books for Children. I'm gonna take the cover off because it's slippery. This is what the cover looks like. I like the other one better, don't you? So it's published by Bloomsbury Books for Children. Let's find out. It was just a tiny window, too high in the eaves to be noticed from below and too small to let in much daylight. And yet, one morning out came a delicate tune. A melody, a song, a sound so sweet drifted out onto the breeze and down into the lanes below. The schoolboy had a long and lonely walk each morning. As he passed beneath the small window, he stopped to listen to the music. His loneliness instantly forgotten, he felt as light as a feather. The music and the delighted boy bounced away together. Nearby, an old lady hobbled slowly to town for bread and milk. She felt the chill of the breeze in her aching bones. As she walked, a trickle of notes tickled her ears. She rested for a moment beneath the little window and listened. The sound flowed down and wrapped itself around her weary body. At that moment, she felt so lively and full of joy. Tired and hungry, the cat from nowhere in particular took a nap in the afternoon sun. Her ears pricked up at the delicate sound. The music seemed to be whispering, little cat, little cat, follow me. Notes dangled just out of reach and led her to the children from Rose Lane who had longed for a cat of their very own. Over time, it seemed that the music gave the townsfolk something they had been missing. It searched out the lonely and lost, the needy and sad. And above all, it made the people of the town care for one another. They shared food and stories and kindnesses. The days passed in peace and contentment. Until one morning, without warning, the window was completely and utterly silent. All of the townspeople woke feeling exhausted and grumpy. The bread wouldn't rise, the milkman arrived late, and the cafe owner simply stayed in bed. Even the flowers drooped in their window boxes. Why had the magical music stopped? What was to be done? A meeting was called and the matter discussed. The lonely schoolboy felt brave enough to climb up to the little window. Eventually he reached the wonky ledge and hopped inside. There in the dusty corner lay a tiny wren. She opened her beak, but no sound escaped. It was just you singing for us, he asked. You must be so tired. I will help you, the boy whispered. And the little boy 
and the little bird blinked back as though she understood every word. The boy shouted down to the people below. And everyone knew just what to do. Two long days passed without a sound from the little window. The townspeople anxiously awaited even the slightest hint of a tune. Oh, what a joy! A melody, a song, a sound so sweet. It drifted out onto the breeze and down into the lanes below, growing louder and more joyful with each beautiful note. Everyone leapt from their beds and flew into the streets, not quite believing their ears. There in the little window stood the boy and the wren making music together. Singing the song for everyone. Oh, I love that book. We all have a song to share. I wonder what your favorite song is. Look at that way up in that window. There he is, sharing his song. It's a lovely story. And where's the cover? I forgot. What is the title of this again? A song for everyone. I miss you, friends. Mm -hmm.